was definitely like a little bit, a little bit scrappier. Yeah, and uh, what we were talking about before, how uh, all the top tiers have ways in which they can exert uh, offense uh, on ice climbers without uh, necessarily risking getting grabbed. Uh, Puff is definitely the far most skewed between yeah. uh, exerting offense without risking anything, because you don't have to go for L cancel, fast fall, shine, or anything like that. You just air drift, space it out, <laughs> and it's really it's difficult. Safe. It was safe. <laughs> Yeah. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about, though, right? So, like, Komodo, instead of going for that, that uh, the bear that we're talking about, right, starts the match off with a full drift in Nair on top of Kobo <laughs> yeah. and Nana. As uh, risky and aggressive as you can be, but got the grab at the ledge, yeah, and this um, is going to be it. Sorry, and, really yeah. Watching, there's something uh, hilarious to me about watching Puff like, get hit by the oh. hand. <laughs> wow! What, a what do they do? Yeah, yeah I mean, you, is yeah, that, yeah, that's... Oh, wow. 30%! The that's, dare into the down smash yeah, there that was the low percent was... <laughs> An amazing awareness of what how the combo system works. Way more than I thought Ice Climbers was gonna get in that yeah. situation. <laughs> I was considering like maybe two hits. You like make it. A, oh my oh gosh! Oh my these goodness! Dares. <laughs> Moff plays this game. Um, um, Moff, she's she's a beast. <laughs> this Sopo, <laughs> I'm so impressed right now. This is maybe one of the most the, the, one of the scrappiest uh, uh, puff ice sets I've seen in a minute. Isn't it satisfying just listening to the little boings from the oh, Ice Climbers oh, yeah, wave yeah, dashing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually love the sound effect. <laughs> love so characters with good wave dashes are great. It's so silly, but it's so fun. Like, she going toot toot. Yeah. <laughs> I love the robot. Thank you, Samus. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and, oh my god, the Sopo kill. Yeah, the and Sopo coming in. This is, oh man, we were talking about how difficult of a matchup this is going to be, but Mob making this look like it is, yeah, it, it yeah. is she, this is another Tuesday for her. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a quote out of uh, Homemade Waffles book. It's, it's styles make fights, you know? Yeah. And oh, this could be uh, not, not close enough to the edge to get uh, the uh, the proper handoff or the guaranteed right. handoff. Wow. Oh my Punishes goodness! The sing stall. And this is like looking uh, to this is looking like a runaway game for for Moff game one. Absolutely. Yeah, Komodo has quite the hill to climb if they want to make this one back. Nah, um, nah. And I feel like the big difference here is that Komodo has been finding it difficult to deal with uh, with the second climber. The Nana has been making all the difference. In, well, I mean, I say that, and there was a full stock taken from the Sopo, but even so, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, it, it's been another factor. I understand what you mean. It's, it's about um, the way the, the the moves hit both of them and adjusting to the, the timing differences and Moff taking advantage of you know, Komodo's like, a familiar. I mean, not just that, but even the hitboxes that Donna's throwing out uh, herself, and just a clean three right, star. It's always just, two. It's always one after the other. Yeah. Yeah, clean, clean start to the set. Feeling herself. Yeah, incredible stuff. Getting a, a little bit of a clap and a cheer from from the crowd. They're they're happy uh, for some uh, pup ice climbers on uh, Dreamland. But that was maybe one of the fastest pup ice climber sets I've seen. Or games. Of games, yeah, I've for sure. We'll, we'll see how this one plays yeah, out. I don't know. It might extend it a little bit. But I mean, you can see like they're they're playing like, up close and personal. Yeah, I haven't seen Komodo really play to like hard camp or the timer or anything like that at all this tournament. So I don't think it's gonna be going like towards like the time limit or anything. Something I wanna I wanna point out that I've been noticing in this, uh, this matchup is uh, Moth's willingness to hold shield and Komodo's uh, not not willingness, but like they're looking for uh, the, the timing out of shield with these these enemies. and Moth has been holding the shield through it. <laughs> Scary situation, but it's yeah. a really cool mix up to see. Doing a really good job with these uh, D sinks, uh, finding great openings with this. And it's tough because grab is really a big part of Jigglypuff's toolkit. You can't necessarily go for that in this matchup. Right, right. Certainly not, with, it's, it's like a condition, right? Like if you can separate them, sure, it's on the table. Like yes. How long. It's not always on the table, though. <laughs> They really just ran at each other there. <laughs> I love, I love players holding forward. And this is exactly oh, what I'm yeah. talking about there, right? Where Moth uh, wave dashes in, holds shield, Komodo sees them approaching, and just lets it rip. It gets, gets kind of blown up for him, right? So Komodo definitely needs to adjust their, um, their 
risk reward choices. Or like... Oh, and probably get the save here. Yeah, using that. That's really good because you set up a situation where Popo grabs the ledge immediately and Nana's like almost fully invincible during that belay animation. Right, right. Oh. Not dead though. Ah, uh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, again, you see uh, Komo uh, not Komo uh, Moth uh, going for that, uh, uh, going <laughs> for the, the side B off the Angel platform to make sure that the Ice Climbers stay together, uh, that they don't get desynced on the way down. Feeling each other out, trying to figure out where their best opening is. I'm yeah, sure yeah. it's going to get a lot more uh, nutty in the in the near future. Right, right. More so than that, just trying to trying to extend this lead, right? This is probably like the, the first major uh, you know, lead they've had in the set. And they want to you know, apply that pressure. If you are behind, it is on you to, to fix that. Yeah, we're seeing the counterfeit coming into play there. That uh, that up smash not killing at like 90%, which yeah. on most other stages probably would kill Bob. Absolutely, I would say that. Oof. Yeah, and to the point that I was making uh, earlier before, how uh, some characters can kind of run around buff, and sometimes like that can work to your disadvantage. Uh, in this matchup, it's like, strictly a buff. Like it's almost like the opposite, right? <laughs> Puff's able to kind of run around ice climbing a little bit. Exactly. Especially on Dream Land, it's like you are not tall enough to reach top platform. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, got that down smash. One of the fastest down smashes in the game. I believe it's the uh, same as uh, Peach and Mars five frames. Um, I don't want that knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> fastest one in the game. Oh, the rest. yeah, that will that will yeah. close it out. Komodo answering back. But we've got the Dreamland counter pick out of the way. Right, right. We'll see where uh, Ice Climbers opt to go. Maybe we'll see Battlefield. Yeah, it's, it's pretty pivotal that. Or yeah. were they on Battlefield before? I forgot. Yeah, so they're stuck on Battlefield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a neutral start. But yeah, it, it is pretty pivotal for the mom to take that first game, right? Because then, depending on how the set pans out, you get the dream man counter thing out of the way. If you are going to lose, though. Interesting. So he knew, uh, or uh, Mafa knew uh, that she was at low percent and knew that the uh, that the rest was on the table uh, to be able to kill Nana. I like that. There wasn't a strong punish that uh, right. that Komodo could have done at that uh, low percent. Well, what's the worst that Sobo can do? Charge smash for like 18%, I'd take it. <laughs> right, right. Clearly, we, we saw a nutty one earlier, but like, not the case constantly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you've got externalities, you've got good players who have done some punishes, but for the most part, you're not going to be getting too much off of it. It's definitely worth it to, to rest in in situations where you live for some. Got that forward smash edge guard. Forward smash is so strong for Puff. Absolutely. And across, across the cast, so strong. Yeah. Like, compared to like some of the best forward smashes in the game, it's really good. What a oh. crap. <laughs> I have never seen forward air go like that. Uh, yeah, it's like, uh, uh, how would I uh, compare? There are other forward airs that uh, that work like that, where like uh, the outer hitbox hits up, but the, uh, oh, got the, uh, got that stray smash attack. We'll see how this works out. Uh, it's like Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong's got the spike hitbox, but it's also got the strong, like, send out hitbox. Right. But was able to get the, the smash attack, able to get that kill uh, versus uh, Buff, and we'll see uh, Moth where she takes it from here. And wow, got the grab off grab the desync. Misses their conversion. Can they get a regrab? Calls the tech away. That's honestly essentially. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all, it's always so funny to me watching you know, do the buff thing. Like, combo and handoff because like just the cry face and like every time she like gets hit, she's like pulling like, smack. Yeah, Jigglypuff over. really does look so sad. It is <laughs> I gotta find the humor in the game where I can. <laughs> wow. There are so many uh, little moments in like melee animations that are so funny so like that. Uh, like you see uh, Donkey Kong when he gets put to sleep by uh, by Sing. Have you ever seen that? I don't think so. He gets on his back and he sucks his thumb. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's crazy. I love that. I love the love. I love the love put in the game. The details so great. For sure. Yeah. Uh, but really opting for these um, the, the, the Forward air in grab situations. Oh my god. Almost lets the. <laughs> lets the Nana rip. <laughs> yeah, that was so close. I think it might have killed it that percent for sure. Oh, uh, that could be. That's uh, not quite enough, but it's. Uh, it's
getting there. And he's oh, oh yeah. got the up smash. Oh, dude, through the platform too. Today I learned. Yeah, uh, that's another thing that we haven't mentioned uh, uh, not too often or explicitly uh, for Ice Climber. Their aerials are really strong too. Like, well, you know, let's take down air out of there, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, but up I mean, air, back like air, that. really, really strong. Good, yeah, back like, air in particular. Yes. And they do a lot of percent too. If you have both climbers, they're yeah, doing twenty plus percent. Both. And back to battlefield. Yeah, interestingly, battlefield. <laughs> got the double rest. Yeah. So hit the popo first, and that extended the hitbox enough for Nana to come in and oh, get hit it. too. Yeah. Oh, got the lucky handoff, and oh, yeah, gets the kill. Right back up. He just needed a uh, uh, mop. Just needed uh, her RNG to pan out one time, and that was uh, that was all that she oh, needed in order really to get that kill. Nana, Nana, please do the right thing. Nana, please get this kill. Yeah, let's see how Komodo adjusts. It, the, the raw blizzard in. worked out. Yeah, they're holding forward at each other. <laughs> Maybe not right now, but Komodo just was. I I do like the, like a little bit of the adjustment, right? Like you're losing this matchup that is objectively in your character's favor, then you probably need to adjust your team a little bit. Off finds the grab. Another up smash kill is gonna do the trick for her. Opens up this deficit even more. Komodo has to feel some right now. These are her last two songs. Got the, got the Nana out of there. So we'll see if Komodo is able to capitalize on Ice Climbers with this uh, Sopo in play. Or if we'll get another great Sopo. <laughs> yeah, it could be, could be the Sopo hour. That's it. Shield's a little, little low. Oh, that Mine's was great. The though. Yeah, wave dashed out and waited uh, for the roll to be able to get the full, like, read punish off of that. All this damage is so important. Ooh. That's scary. That was, yeah, that was that was a spooky up smash. Oh, see, this is exact, exactly what I'm talking about, right? Moth has shown their willingness to hold shield because they understand that eventually Komodo will pick a um, not like a, a high reward but very very risky move, like yeah. you know, smash on shield or dash attack, trying to look for uh, Moth being uncomfortable and jumping yeah. out. But Crazy went for the squall hammer to off the angel platform to keep them uh, together and just not just didn't obey. <laughs> Fishing for some yeah, yeah. stray hit, trying to set up that uh, that stray smash attack, maybe an aerial. Yeah, you can definitely tell Komodo is, is trying to you know, pull us back. Oh, not a swinging right now. Make their make their characters advantage uh, as evident. And oh, oh, great spacing was able to get that intangibility. Oh my gosh, the very end of the invincibility from the up B actually It's hit super off. difficult to, to yeah. punish. No, I've, I've actually seen the data on it, it's crazy. And got that straight back air and now uh, was able to take away that stock. Yeah, Komodo really needs to find their uh, little hit here. Uh-oh. Moth finds a little... Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Stylish, all right, Nana. Some custom combo spices. Puff getting jumped right now by the Ice Climbers. Absolutely. Good job sending down to the other direction, making sure that they stay separated, but it ends up not mattering in the end. Mom. I think it's kind of interesting that they, they did opt to, to go for the right. Oh, that was risky. I, I do like I do like the like poking it right, but it, uh, Moth had let it lose a little bit early. That's a, maybe a trade. I love the manipulation. Yeah. And if uh, Komodo's able to close out this edge guard, this could be a close situation and maybe take it to game five. It's up here. All right, Mob has to dig deep. Yeah, this really, is going to be really tough. This is going to be tough. Here. Any stray grab, any stray hit is probably going to lead to death. Komodo needs to close the gap. Maybe should have been adopted the strat. I, I understand the, the want. Oh, there it is. The down smash That'll ends up taking it. Out. Moff, she has been having an incredible what run. A run. What yeah, a run. right? Overcoming Dude. so many obstacles in her path. What, a, what an impressive run. 